This is a good one. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to, I wanted to put this out there because it like it completely discredits anything that these blank slate equalists have said. Okay, this was published on February eleventh, twenty twenty. So bear in mind, this is right after the 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 U.S. Census. Okay, what is the state of marriage in the in America? I'm just going to breeze through this. In 1949, 78.8 percent of all households contained married couples. In 2021, 72 years later, 47.3 percent of households had married couples. This is U.S. Census data. Okay. This is not, hey, those are just your stats, man. No, this is the real thing. This is the, what else, well, give me, the, what else do, would you like me to use? Please. Both men and women are marrying later in life. How many times have I said this? Based on the census data compiled since 1890, the median ages of first marriage were at their youngest in 1956, just over 22 for men and 20 for women. In 2019, those figures were at their oldest, over 30 for men and 28 for women. What's changed since then, Jackie O and Burl Ives or Kyle? What's changed? Tell me what's changed. Where am I wrong? Where is Myron wrong? How do marriage rates compare? So, oh, actually, it should be uh, that the, your co-host. Oh, well, they're, men are still going to wipe us up. Oh, really? And when are they going to do that? When you are 30 and 20, actually, it's almost 29. By the way, it's almost 29 for women right now. 28.6. And for men, it's 30.4. I, I think this is the monthly thing, but 28 points, almost 29 for women. Yeah. You wonder why the fertility rate's low? There you go. Hispanic man. Okay. Now it goes down by, uh, by racial or ethnic ethnicity. Man, black men. Hispanic and black men are less likely to be married than Asian and white men. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Black men are the likeliest to have never been married. Whew, look at that, man. Fucking over 50%. What is that? What's the 51.75%. Wow. Um, black women are less likely to be married than women of other demographics. What is that set at? Uh, 32 point. Wow. Almost a third, almost a third of black women are are less like are are not married right now. Uh, as of 2021, three in ten women have never been married, and this is all. I would just do the all women. So 3.55 percent, just about a third. Okay, three in ten women have never been married. Oh, we don't need you. We don't need men. The number of unmarried men and women increased during the same time. In 2019, 35 percent of men and 30 percent of women have never been married. In 1990, 30% of men and 23% of women have never been married. So what's causing this? <laughs> Where was the big shift? When did that happen? Uh, let's see. The share, the share of currently married fell 15 percentage points between 1950 and 2021. You guys just want to be 1950s chauvinist pig. This isn't father knows best. Mm, okay. Because clearly men can just, men just have women just, was it there's 50 women for every 20 guys that are just having women just beat down the doors for them, right? Mm. Percentage of people living alone in a one, in one person households. This is what I wanted to get out. Here it was 11.1% of people are like living alone. And by the way, that doesn't mean they don't necessarily have a boyfriend or girlfriend. It just means that they're living alone. Uh, what does census data say about same-sex marriage? Okay, we talked about it. Yeah, it's kind of like irre irre irrelevant to our thing, but we can also look at this. Oh, you know, actually, it's not, I shouldn't say it's an irrelevant. The agency estimated that there were 568,000 married same-sex couples nationwide in 2019. That is under a million, under a million people, under a million homosexuals are married in a population that I last estimate, I believe it was 320 million. Is that what we're at right now? So that's the uh, demographic cohort when it comes to marriage. Again, I just work here. <laughs>